小児放射線医療は病理、小児の病理に興味がある人、しかし臨床面ではなくその病理に興味がある人が進みます。この患者層の病理はユニークで、長寿石症というものがありますが、これは結腸が腸に入り込んでしまっている症状で、医師は空気干渉をしてこれを治療します。また、珍しい先天性の病気に出くわすことも多いです。これはその他の他の分野と比べるとその頻度は多いでしょう。筋骨格系の放射線医療はスポーツ医療と整形外科を行ったり来たりしてを回りながら回りその治療と患者の管理を行いますがその結果整形外科医と協力して患者の治療にあたります。こちらはとても施術の多い分野となり、痛みに対する関節注射や診断をするために関節吸引をしたり、椎骨形成術を椎骨の骨折に施します。身体画像、そして MRI は放射線科の主力、そして病院の中核をなします。彼らは断面分析のエキスパートで CT、MRI、そして超音波を使って胸部、腹部、そして骨盤にある病気を見つけます。こちらも施術の多い副専門家となり、生検、肺の吸引、がんの凍結術、そしてがんの高周波アブレーションを行います。Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. This is article summary channel. I'm Takemi. Today, we're going to talk about the recent science finding the increasing risk of dying by 50%, the activities of behavior that you must not do. Scientifically, found the fact that if you do certain this activity or behavior, then you could increase early risk of early death by 50%. Do you, what kind of behavior activities do you, can you, do you come up with if I say the, the activity increasing risk of 50% by 50%? For example, irregular. Unhealthy diet, irregular lifestyle, and it has been found that unhealthy health is worse than smoking. And if you and smoking decrease your, it, it also leads to early death and one. Cigarette per day decrease 14.4 minutes of your life. So, unhealthy diet and smoking leads to early death, and this is what you can, this is for sure. Healthy diet is important for your health. This has been, we've talked about this so many times, but basics is very important. We have to, we would like to, 
another cause that leads to early death is lack of sleep. We have talked about this so many times in earlier episodes, so we're not going to go in go deep into this topic, but lack of sleep also the bad behavior or activity behavior that decrease increase the risk of early death. So, I can produce full performance without enough, plenty of sleep. For those who have this mindset, I would like to watch this video and understand how bad lack of sleep is. And also in the early episodes, we've talked about, I've talked about the lack of sleep can could kill you. So I hope, please check this check this this video as well. And also, what else do you think that causes early death? Lack of exercise also bad for your health. Meaning, sedentary lifestyle, not moving. You keep sitting in the same position also increase risk of early death. And the data of WHO shows that if you have sedentary lifestyle, it causes diabetes, obesity, cardiovascular diseases, hypertension, cancer. Those, the sedentary lifestyle leads to those diseases and sedentary lifestyle cause death of 2 million people that's what WHO data shows the most the more important fact is the, the research conducted at Australian Sydney University in 2012 the study results shows the longer you St sit the higher the rate of death becomes and those who sit 11 hours a day their death rate increases by 40 percent compared to those who sit for four hours a day so our lifestyle shifted to desk work from labor work. The, our work style beca is becoming more sedentary and of also compared to other countries, Japanese people Lifestyles are, lifestyle are more sedentary compared to other countries, so we have to be conscious about exercise. For, as for me, I have standing lifting desk in uh, at in my room in my work room so and I also set an alarm for timer for 45 minutes and if I sit for 45 minutes I get a little bit of exercise or I stand up and do some exercise so unhealthy lifestyle lack of sleep and a sedentary lifestyle and lack of exercise all those activities lead to early death so those who are watching this video now i would like you to avoid doing those activities in addition to those activities i would like to talk about another activity that increases early death by 50 percent before moving on to uh, Today's menu is period one, the behavior that increases 50% of early days, the activity that you must not do, and period two, the food that 
expedite aging and increase risk of early, early death. And period one, let's start talk, talk about period one, the behavior that increases early, the risk of early death by 15%. The, let me give you an answer first. The behavior that increases increases risk of early death by 50%. That is frequent. You go out to eat often. You eat food from restaurants. This includes not only walk, uh, eating at the restaurants, but you get delivery service as well. Going out to eat is bad, and the number one reason for that is you don't know what you are putting, you're putting into your mouth. And, uh, and also, you lose benefits of eating with your family, and another reason is it's not financially smart choice. And also, in addition to those three reasons, I would like to talk about the recent science findings findings and this recent finding is way worse than the number one reason of reason why you should not eat outside it's nowadays we have the service of delivery is getting common but food from restaurants are bad. I know most people in the world are aware of this. So in the long term, what kind of negative influence do food, does food from restaurants give us? There are limited amount of evidence for that, but the frequency of eating out and this study was aimed for the relationship between the causation and the death rate.